Hey guys, this is a guest tutorial by my friend and talented 2D animator David Schattenhelm. In this video, David will go over the important changes to the new release of Flash, focusing on the animation side of things. David and I have finished creating an entire Flash course designed especially for animators, beginners or veterans. So don't forget to check that out at bloopanimation.com slash flash animation if you want to get deeper into Flash. Enjoy the video! Hi Flash fans, this is David Schuttenhelm. I've been using Adobe Flash to do animation for years, and like other animators, I've had my fair share of complaints for Adobe about how some of Flash's features work or don't work. But in the latest version of Flash CC, especially the June 2015 update, some major improvements have been made and some old features are now back in a more usable form. I wanted to go over some improvements that I think Flash animators should find exciting. One. The brush tool now scales. In previous versions of Flash, you could choose the size for your brush tool and draw a brush stroke. If you zoomed in and drew another one, the brush would be smaller. That's because the size was based on your screen size and not your stage size. But now, all you have to do is make sure this zoom size with stage box is checked, and your brush will be the same size no matter your zoom level. Thanks Adobe, was that so hard? 2. The Bone Tool is back. Flash's previous version of the Bone Tool was actually taken out entirely for the initial release of Flash Creative Cloud. But now it's back, so if you didn't want to update because of that, feel free now. 3. You can split audio on your timeline. Flash still isn't an audio editing program, but they just added a feature that brings it a step closer. If you have an audio clip on your timeline set to stream, you can split it and move those pieces around. For example, if you had a line of dialogue and you wanted to change the timing a little bit, now you can, and you still only have the one audio file in your library. Haha! -ha! I've found you, beast! Taste my blade! 4. You can now add H.264 video to your timeline to use as reference. If you've wanted to use video reference while you're doing your Flash animation, now Flash has made it easy. When you import video, you now have the option to import H.264 video and place it on your timeline or inside a symbol. Then the video plays along with the timeline and you can draw directly over it. Keep in mind video imported this way won't be exported when you publish. It's just an easy way to get reference footage in. 5. The new refined tween graph replaces the old motion editor. This isn't new to Creative Cloud 2015, but it is a big improvement that I wanted to make sure everyone knows about. Previously, if you wanted to adjust the easing on motion tweens, there was a separate motion editor where you defined your eases on a graph, then applied those to your motion, resulting in a separate new graph for your object's actual properties, and it was a process I avoided, and I just stuck to using classic tweens as much as possible. But now, if you right-click on a motion tween, you have this refine tween option which opens a motion editor built directly into your timeline. And these graphs, called property curves, let you directly edit the actual properties of your object over the course of the tween. This is a much better way to control your easing, particularly if you want different easing on different properties. This is much more like the animation curves in After Effects, and it's a much more intuitive way to work. So what do you guys think? Are these big improvements to Flash? What other features should Adobe add or improve? If you're interested in learning Flash, check out my new training course available at bloopanimation.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Bloop Animation and check out bloopanimation.com.